I got about halfway through filming this video and didn't realize that my microphone was off. So, recap. We're sharpening a knife using the WorkSharp tool, knife and tool sharpener from WorkSharp and Ken Onion. And what's in the box is your sharpener itself and a lot of grinding belts. I made it about halfway through the progression, but we can start right now and finish up. The knife that we're sharpening is this guy, the Protec Malibu. This one is the Carry Commission exclusive. And this is the knife that we're sharpening because this was the knife that I used exclusively throughout my wife and I's move about a month ago. And this cut through so many boxes. Let's do it. So right now I am using the, the grinder's equivalent of like a ceramic rod. And that's gonna be this fine, they call it their X4 belt. So let's go ahead and throw the X4 grit belt on our sharpener. And I'll do it on the side so y'all can see. Now that I know that my microphone is on and working, I did get about 20 minutes into this video before realizing that. Um, got everything set and the one thing I forgot to do was turn my microphone on. What a noob. So, what I like about the Ken Onion and this belt grinder is the fact that, as the name implies, it's a belt grinder. So that means, with the precision adjust and that whole line, you're, you're moving everything. With the work sharp, without getting to here, you're just forcefully doing a lot, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. With this, it's, it's sharpening your knives made easy. It's not foolproof, it's not foolproof. You can mess this up. Is it difficult to? That's up to you. But just as an example, um, with the edge on here, I don't know how well this is gonna pick it up. Future me, put a picture in somewhere of uh, how I messed this up. Probably somewhere right here or right here. Future me, decide that. Um, I, did, I didn't round the tip. I gave the tip a little bit of a curve. That's on me. Um, in the process of sharpening this, it came off of the belt and kind of like dug into the, 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 the belt a little bit. So that's on me. Could I fix it? Yeah. Do I want to? I'll end up sharpening it again sometime in the near future, so it's okay for now. This is a user, so I'm not too concerned about how perfect the edge is. Enough rambling, let's get to sharpening. So I'll probably speed through this, but easiest way, line it up in these angle grooves. Let's zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing. You wanna line the knife up in these little slots. Uh, respectively per side. So you're gonna have your knife. For this side, you'll want it all the way down in here. Get all the way down in there. And then, as you pull the trigger and sharpen your knife, all you're gonna do is you pull this with the belt. Same deal here. You're gonna line it up here and pull as you actuate the motor. That is going to be the simplest way that I can explain how to use this system. And let's, let's walk you through it. So line it up. Once it's nice and nestled in there. You just pull the trigger, pull the knife, and let the thing do its work. WorkSharp, how they recommend you use, how they recommend that you use this as far as progressions go, um, eight to 10 passes per side. That's what I've done, that's what the manuals say. I probably just smacked you up right there. Um, eight to 10 passes per side, except for the extra course. That one you're only gonna do about one to two passes. Um, Cause it is such an aggressive belt, you just wanna be careful. Um, once you get past that first belt, eight to 10 passes. I typically do 10, that's given me good results. And so I stick with that. But you do what you want because it is your life and your knife. Did that rhyme? Probably. Am I a wordsmith? Am I smart now? You decide. So 
Let's zoom back in here and let's get to sharpening. And that is as simple as it gets. You can probably see that shine from that blade. Let's zoom in, see if we can get a good shot of this edge. Regardless, let me grab some paper and we'll see how well this cuts. Let's find some paper. Should have grabbed this earlier, but here we are anyway. Let me grab this. Grab this. Now, the paper that I'm grabbing, is it the thinnest paper? No. Is it paper? Yes, it is. Move that out of the way. And will it cut? That is the question that I am here to answer. And the answer is yes, it will. Ooh, wait. That, that was me, that was me. As you can see, if I go slow, right through, right through. Will it even get some little curlies? Yes, it does little curlies. And that is the work sharp knife and tool sharpener by, I think I said work sharp already. That's the sharpener I use on all of my knives. It is that simple. This video is only 11 minutes long and I already have a polished razor sharp edge on my knife. And you can get these exact same results if you get one of these for yourself. I am not affiliated by WorkSharp in any way. I don't get money if you buy one. I don't even get money if you watch this video. But this is my favorite sharpener. If, and if I can help any of you guys get better and sharper edges on your knives, easy win, easy win. So get yourself one of these. It's only like 100, 120 bucks. But the time that you save and the edges that you get on your knives, you are going to be blown away by how easy and how fast it is to get your edges from dull to sharp in a matter of literally minutes. Minutes. I love this sharpener. And I'm not affiliated by it with WorkSharp in any way, shape, or form. So do with this what you will. I just needed to take care of a knife and figured you guys might enjoy a how-to on how I sharpen my knives. This is how, and it's fast. I'm talking more than it actually took me to sharpen. Long, I'm talking longer. I'm using more words right now in a longer period of time than what it took me to, to sharpen my knife. I can't speak. You guys have a good day or night or weekend. Whatever day it is, have a good one. So until next time, peace.